Now this is a story all about how I didn't see the anime awards on time. So now this video is really goddamn fucking late because I didn't see the awards on the right goddamn date. Oh my god. Son of a bitch! Greetings ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Jan Michael here. And yes, before you ask, that was indeed a JonTron tribute, so, you know, shout out there. And, as the song just told you, I fucked up. <laughs> so, I didn't get a chance to watch the anime awards on the day of in the live stream, but I thought, yeah, that's okay because they put up the, the entire video on their website and, and then YouTube afterwards, so I should be fine, right? Except I wasn't because they still, as of the time of this recording, still haven't put up the video. So I am not able to do a reaction on the video itself. Uh, and I didn't want to wait any longer. Uh, first and foremost, because I've been holding back on trying not to see any of the goddamn winners this entire time. But because two of them have already been ruined for me. And I wanted you guys to see my genuine reactions to the winners. So... I'm on the website. I'm just gonna go down the list. I know it's not gonna be as exciting, but at least, you know, let, let, let's take this journey together. Um, I am surrounded by noise. <laughs> I have fucking birds to my left. Um, the dog is chewing away over to my right. And then my daughter is playing in the room. So you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna hear a bunch of nonsense while I do this video, but I, it's, I gotta work with the space I'm given. <laughs> Um, so that being said, let's jump on in. It'll be a quick video. So, hey, that's a plus, right? Uh, let, let's go ahead and, um, uh, get started. Okay, we're starting off with, uh, Best Boy, uh, just because that is in the order that they have them on the website. I skipped over Anime of the Year, obviously gonna talk about that one last. And Best Boy is one that was ruined for me, unfortunately. Uh, but with that being said, I'm very excited because Boji ended up taking this one. And that's who I had predicted. I was on the best boy Boji trade since like the first episode of Ranking of Kings. So super duper excited that that Boji went home with this one. Um, yeah, very well earned. Uh, the one, uh, the one right afterwards and the other one that was ruined for me was Best Girl. Uh, and this one ended up going to Nobara from Jujutsu Kaisen. And I can see why uh, she definitely redeemed herself to me in this second half in this core two. I didn't think she was very interesting in the first half whatsoever. A lot of people were like, no, she's great. She's fantastic. She's She actually kicks butt, and I just wasn't seeing it, really. Uh, so, yeah, definitely definitely more of a redemption in the, in the second. She has a really cool fight. And so I personally went with Komi, uh, and, and mostly it was just because I wasn't really very impressed with a lot of the girls from from last year. There's nobody that really stood out that I'm like, oh, my God, that's that's definitely best girl. Uh, so that that was my take on it, but you know I'm not I'm not upset with with Nobara taking home the win. That was it was a good pick, a good redemption. So I can see why she won. Okay, uh, after that, <laughs> birds. Uh, after that, if we are going in order, we are going for best protagonist next. And yep, right there at the very bottom, best protagonist. Uh, for me, it was. I was voting for Odokawa, but I don't know if he's the type, if he's popular enough to win those votes. Uh, I think you could easily go for Eren. You can usually go. Uh, you can easily go for Yuji because those two animes are so much more popular. Uh, and again, popularity contest. So um, I won't be surprised if one of those two go home with it. So <laughs> the results are: birds want to watch. No, Odakawa takes it. Sweet. Oh my god. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so yeah, he's a fucking great protagonist. Taxi is the one that I'm championing um, to take home everything uh, to win the big prize. I, again, don't know if it will, but hey, first big surprise, so... I, I feel good. I feel there's a possibility. Maybe maybe the anime awards will surprise this year. Okay, moving right along, we have best antagonist. Uh, and for me, I went with Echidna. And my reason for it was because just like with Best Girl, I wasn't hugely impressed with a lot of the antagonist uh, from this uh, last year of anime. Uh, so Echidna was the one that I thought maybe could take it. 
ReZero was pretty popular during the awards last year, so this is the only one that it got nominated for this year, so I thought, meh, maybe enough, still enough popular that it will go that route. Uh, but that being said, I won't be surprised if if Aaron takes it. Um, so that's what I got. It, if it's not Echidna, it's definitely going to Aaron. And the result is, yep, Aaron. Aaron takes it. So not a huge surprise on that one. Um, yeah, not a huge surprise on that one. And I can see why they would they would choose him. So yes, best fight scene. Okay, so fight scene. So for me, I went with Aaron versus the Warhammer Titan. And the reason for it is because even though I personally think that the Yuji Aoi versus Hanami fight from Jujutsu Kaisen is better, uh, you have two fight scenes nominated uh, for Jujutsu Kaisen. So I think anybody that really likes that show is, is going to end up splitting their votes. Uh, meanwhile, the Attack of Time only has one fight scene, so I, I think it has the advantage here. And I don't think any of the other fight scenes are really going to come out on top. Uh, some of those other fight scenes I don't think are very impressive. So that's what I got. So... The results are, oh no, okay, it did go to Yuji, Aoi versus Hanami, perfect. I'm okay with that. It, it, it was the best fight scene. Uh, even during my review, I said, you know, that fight scene alone is well worth the price of admission. And it goes on for a couple of episodes, so you really get, um, you really have enough time in that fight to really get sucked in and enjoy it. And it's fucking funny, it's badass, the animation is really great, so... That's a really good pick. I'm glad it went that route. I'm okay being wrong um, on that one. Uh, so yeah, best director next, I believe. Let's take a look. Uh, do, do, do. Yep, best director, cool. Uh, for best director, I went with Odd Taxi. I am, again, I'm championing for Odd Taxi to take home anime of the year. So director should come along with that, right? Last year, Best Director went to uh, Keep Your Hands Off um, off Isokin, which I thought was going to go on to an anime of the year, but it didn't. So it, we could get some weird little split here as well. But going with Autaxi, let's see. Yes! Okay, all right. Autaxi doing well. Autaxi doing well. I'm very, very fucking happy. Uh, very, very happy. Uh, so yeah, maybe it'll go all the way. I, I hope it does. It's a fucking great anime. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going here. Best animation is next. Uh, for me, I chose Jujutsu Kaisen. And the one that could very well come ahead of it is the Demon Slayer one. Uh, again, if you saw my predictions, the reason I chose Jujutsu Kaisen over Demon Slayer is because Demon Slayer has that CG with the demon on the train. And it doesn't look good. It's very hard to blend the CG with the hand-drawn style animation. So for me, it's Jujutsu Kaisen. I think that one has the better animation overall. But that being said, Demon Slayer does have some fucking impressive animation. Especially if you ended up seeing the movie version in theaters. Good lord, that blew me away. So, wouldn't be surprised if it goes there. So, winner is Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. I'm not angry. Again, I'm <laughs> just not upset that it took it home. Um, I do also think it's kind of cheating because this is the anime version of the movie. Uh, so, I don't... Again, not angry. I'm not trying to hold a grudge. Great, great choice. I'm okay with it taking home. Um, and that fight, goddamn, at the end. Oh, that was very, very well done. So, yeah, I can see why this one went home with, with the award. Uh, let's see if we are continuing on in this style. I think it's character design next. Let's see. Yes, character design. I mean, not taxi, right? It's gotta be odd. It's the only one amongst these that has a very... Um, unique character design. I mean, you have Ranking of Kings, which I, I think also has um, interesting designs for its characters. Everybody looks, like, different. Um, but yeah, that being said, you have the anthropomorphic animals in Autaxi, and again, what they do with the with the designs towards the end, also very impressive. I lost my pen. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I gotta go with, um, with Autaxi. And no, it goes to Jujutsu Kaisen. Really? Is it because of the demon designs? Because... I don't know. I I don't think the demon designs are very interesting either. They're very humanoid and neat. I don't know. All right. This is the first one I'm kind of disappointed with. So, yeah. Okay. For best score, <clears throat> I'm going Demon Slayer because it is the only anime that I remember the score to, especially during that last fight. Oh, that's such a good score. I don't remember the score in any of the others. So, 
I might be completely wrong about it. Maybe one of these other ones has a great score that I just, I can't remember. Uh, I don't think so. I think I would remember it, but that's my take. Let's take a look. Oh, that, uh, go down. Nope, Demon Slayer. Perfect. Yep, yep. Uh, I was right on that one. Yeah, great score. And, uh, you know what? Even, I guess you could go, it's, oh, no, it's a popularity contest in this one. It was going to go to Demon Slayer regardless, but um, I think it deserves it, you know. <laughs> I actually remember the score. Uh, best voice acting performance Japanese. I do believe that one is next. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I went with Aoyuki for, um, who plays, um, Kumiko for So I'm a Spider, So What? I don't, like, okay. This is just me personally. I am not a huge fan of the voice itself, but I acknowledge it is a very impressive performance. So I'm going that route against my personal pick. Let's see if I'm right on that. Oh no! Okay. Uh, who played Aaron? Okay, okay. Uh, who played Aaron? So Yuki Kaji. Yeah, Yuki Kaji took it home. I hmm hmm. I don't know how to feel about this one just because he does do a lot of just like broodingness, and it's done well. Don't get me wrong, it's done well. But I don't know. I think he could go for something better. Uh, that probably wouldn't have been my first pick. I mean, even um, even Ayane, who plays Gabi, she's very energetic. At least she yells and she does stuff. And you could call it annoying, but at least she's doing things with her inflictions and, and things like that. So, yeah, sec second disappointing one for me, personally. Okay, keeping things moving. Uh, next, we have Best Voice Acting Performance in English. Uh, and I went with David Wald. And it's probably not going to go to David Wald. It's probably going to go to uh, Brittany, excuse me, uh, Laura Bailey. Oh, uh, Brittany Cox as well. I think that's a name that, that's recognizable. Um, the only problem is that Fena, I don't know how many people have seen the Fena anime. So, um, yeah, Laura Bailey is probably going to take it. But secretly, David, David, David Wall, come on. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I got. Let's go take a look. Uh, no, I didn't go to David Wall. Holy fucking shit. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, sometimes sometimes it's surprising. It surprises you like that. So, all right, cool. Uh, best opening sequence, the Attack on Titan one. I'm calling it. I'm like 95% like sure that it was a great fucking opening. But I wouldn't mind if um, the Odd Taxi opening took it because I also really like that one. Um, two very different um, vibes, just like Odd Tax is very chill, and then the Attack on Titan one is just, it's hitting you with its chorus and, and the imageries of war and things like that, so, alright, we'll see, we'll see. Yep, Attack on Titan, cool, alright, I'm, I'm completely fine with that one. I was mentioning during my predictions, this is one of the ones that I actually listened to um, outside of just watching the opening. I actually went out to listen to the full song just because I liked it so much. Okay, uh, best ending sequence. Uh, this is the complete opposite to me. I didn't like a lot of these uh, ending songs whatsoever or the animation attached to them. Uh, I went with the Soma Spider So What ending just because it's super hyper and it does that like hard rock and she's like screaming into the mic and, and that's the actual voice actress, I believe, doing the, the voice. Very impressive. Again, probably should have gone to her for voice acting. Um, but again, I wasn't a huge fan of that ending either. Um, I personally would like to see Skate the Infinity take it, but we'll find out right now. Uh, oh no, come on. No, I went to Demon Slayer. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm not, I don't hate that song, but it isn't very memorable. I can't even think of the, can't even think of the beat in my mind right now. See, it's just, it's just not very memorable. The other one's definitely... All right, all right, disappointment number three. I'm, I'm calling it disappointment number three. Okay, now we get to the genre categories, you know, action, romance, comedy, things like that. Uh, and action should be the first one that pops up. And I went with Attack on Titan with that one. Um, Demon Slayer could take it. Demon Slayer could take it. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen could take it. Uh, and if Jujutsu Kaisen takes it, then I'm worried it might take home anime of the year. And that's the one that I hope amongst the, the popular ones, I hope it doesn't take it. Uh, it's already won. It doesn't need to win twice, twice in a row. So, go with Attack on Titan. Oh, I went to Jujutsu Kaisen. Fuck.
Oh no, is it gonna win Anime of the Year? Again? Oh no. Oh man. Oh man. I'm now I'm now I'm bummed. Now I'm bummed. Okay. Well let's 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 continue on. Uh best comedy. Uh went with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S. I have not seen the anime. I'm actually not a big fan of that anime, uh, but I know I'm in the minority on that on that train of thought, so voted for it. Don't know how popular it is. And uh, yeah, I'm just not sure about these other ones. I guess maybe Komi, but that one's really more romance to me personally. Um, Odd Taxi, definitely not a comedy, but I guess it could take it home because it's a popularity contest, and I know a lot of people really like that one too. So, all right, let's take a look. Yeah, Komi Komi can't communicate. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can see it. I don't know. I, I would label it more of a romance, which it is in romance, so there's that. Let's move on. Best drama. A drama I went with Odd Taxi. It's got to go to Odd Taxi. I don't think there's anything on here that comes close to the amazement of Odd of Talk. I can't talk. Of Odd Taxi. So let's just move on with it. Best drama. Oh, To Your Eternity took it. Oh, I, I knew that was also a possibility. Fuck. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, I, it's great, great anime. I do like To Your Eternity as well, but I Taxi was the better anime in my opinion. So yeah, not doing so hot with my predictions, but um, anime definitely not my strong suit. I enjoy it a lot, but in terms of reading people's minds, yeah, not, not, not very knowledgeable. Okay, we're going to wrap up the last three and then move on to anime of the year. Next up is... Best Romance, this is the one that I went with Comey Can't Communicate. It's cute. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Fruits Basket could take it. Beastars, I think, could take it. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, Horemiya. I have not seen this one, so I don't know if it's deserving. Maybe it is. You guys can let me know. Um, should I watch Horemiya? Is it deserving? And should I watch it? Um... Yeah, <laughs> that's all I gotta say on that. I can't comment because I don't know. Best fantasy. Went with Ranking of Kings on this one. It's great. Has a fucking great start. Um, yeah, I hope that time I got reincarnated doesn't take it. It has a really good first half. Actually, no, not I, I lie. It has a really good cliffhanger on the first half. That fucking fight scene was so fucking awesome. But good lord was the second part so goddamn boring. I really hope that wasn't doesn't take it. And I really haven't seen any of the others. Yeah, just Ranking of Kings and that time. Those are the only two I've seen of this list, so. Um, yeah, let's find out. Oh, son of a fucking bitch. Um, why do people like this show so much? I, it has, it has, it has good moments to it and, and some few excellent moments to it but there's so much talking and what they're gonna do instead of just doing it and it's so fucking infuriating i don't agree with this one this one so far is probably my biggest disappointment i i don't agree with this one whatsoever uh okay fuck uh best film best film demon slayer right it's like it can't lose it, it can't lose yep it can't lose and i agree this is a uh, fucking fantastic movie um if you haven't seen demon slayer like mean that that new season's oh my god it's so good um and then the movie just it comes together so well uh so yeah definitely uh, i agree with this one all right let's go back and check out anime of the year all right i'm actually gonna say at the bottom of the page i don't want to risk shooting up and accidentally landing right on it so we'll stay here um i'm gonna go over my final thoughts here Sunny Boy's not going to take it. It only has two nominations. So uh, that's your underdog for the year. Uh, underdog. I don't know if the underdog's won at all yet. So there's that for you. 86 isn't going to take it. I just don't think it's popular enough. It didn't win any of its categories. Uh, so for it to miss everything and then win anime of the year would be really fucking weird. Um, Ranking of Kings won't take it. Even though it's really good, it's still in its early phase. I think as it evolves, if it holds on to just how good it is, we could see it be a serious contender in the future. Uh, but for this first year, for this first um, half, it's it's not there yet. 
So, <sighs> Jujutsu Kaisen took home best action over attack. So that makes me think that has a really good shot of winning. But I hope not because it just won last year. Uh, and I know that, that second half, I think, is much stronger than the first half. So, it technically has improved. So, I, I guess you could can make an argument for winning. But I just, I want something new on the table. So, Attack on Titan probably also has a really, really damn good shot of taking it. Um, and if it wins, I'm cool with it. I think Attack on Titan is great. Um, it hasn't won before, so uh, this would not be a bad victory. Uh, I, I'd be okay with it. But I'm going to go with Odd Taxi. I did this in my predictions. I think Odd Taxi is just so fucking excellent. It's, it's gave it that 5 out of 5. It's, it's a must-buy. It deserves a spot in your collection. As long as the movie doesn't fuck it up. Uh, so, yeah, that's my thought. Okay. Just, no Jujutsu Kaisen, please. Anything but Jujutsu Kaisen. All right. Drum roll. Shooting right up, shooting right up, shooting right up. Is that it? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Is that it? Yes. Anime of the year. Okay, okay. Attack on Titan took it. I can't talk. Attack on Titan took it. <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm not angry about that whatsoever. <laughs> Again, I think it's fantastic. And if you have not seen Attack on Titan, you really need to get on that. Um... I know sometimes the popular shows tend to get hate because it's like, oh, fucking, you know, why don't you see things that aren't popular? And you know, this is like mindset behind it. But this one's very well deserving, very well deserving. It's so good. <sighs> I wanted Odd Taxi to take it. I do think it's the better anime. Hey, bird. Uh, but um, yeah, shoot, I'm I'm okay with it. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. It, it went home with the award. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, compiled everything. Uh, just kind of want to go over it just real quickly. Uh, Sunny Boy 86 went home with nothing. Uh, Sunny Boy was nominated for two, 86 for four. Yeah, they didn't go home with anything. Popularity contest, what can I tell you? Uh, Ranking of Kings went home with one out of its five. Uh, then Odd Taxi only took up two out of its 11. Um, ouch. <laughs> Uh, and then both Attack on Titan and Jujutsu went home with four. Attack had 10, Jujutsu had 11. Um, though Jujutsu could only really win 10, even if it swept, just because two of those nominations were in the same category. I got seven out of 20. I fucking did terrible. Um, yeah, final thoughts. There are some very big disappointments. Um, I would have loved Odd Taxi to get far more love than it did. Uh, if you're one of the people who just haven't hasn't seen it, please go watch it. If there's that one anime out of the out of the nominees that that you you like, go. I'm only gonna watch one. Odd Taxi, please uh, do it with Odd Taxi. It's fucking amazing. Um, that being said, Attack on Titan, very well deserving. It's it's fantastic. I'm okay with the win. Uh, and if you haven't seen that one, uh, I would highly suggest it. Uh, although if you've just not seen it at all, you've got a you got a road ahead of you, but now's a great time to do so because, you know, that final part is, is airing right now. So, uh, yeah, um, you know, there's stuff like that that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Fucking that one makes me upset. I usually don't get upset with the anime awards, but that one I'm, I'm disappointed in. Um, the voice for the Japanese, I'm surprised they gave it to, to the voice actor for Eren. Um, I mean, unless he does like the growling for the Titan as well. Uh, I don't know for sure, but even then, it's just grunting. <laughs> so I, I just I can't see an argument made. That's definitely popularity right there. Um, glad Boji took it for best boy. I'm, I'm happy there. Uh, yeah, overall it was okay. Uh, I don't know if it's because I didn't get to see the live stream, so I wasn't like that super hyped up as, as when you see a show. Um, I just went off the website. And again, I apologize. I'll, I'll you know, it, it lesson learned. I definitely won't make that mistake again. Um, but yeah, thank you for, for joining me, guys. Uh, it's been quite a trip for, for this anime award season. Um, you know, you, sometimes you're just going to have those those more lackluster years. It just, just comes with the territory uh, of awards. You know, you have good years, you have bad years. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you also really enjoy Attack on Titan? Were you upset that Odd Taxi didn't win? Did you want Jujutsu Kaisen to take it home again? Or were you hoping for a surprise upset with one of the other ones? Um, 
yeah, just let me know what you thought, guys. Uh, until next time, please stay safe out there. I will be doing my Dice Awards next. Road to the Dice Awards is coming soon. The awards are at the end of the month. Uh, so, yeah, keep a lookout for those videos. Uh, and until then, you know, have a good one.